Another frequently asked question I get is, can you mediate with a narcissist? So let's go through some definitions, then I'll come back to my question and try and answer it. So what's a narcissist? The Oxford Dictionary says that a narcissist is a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. Narcissists think the world revolves around them. So let's go into a more medical definition from the recoveryvillage.com. Pardon me as I'm going to be reading this. And narcissism is a spectrum disorder. All people have some amount of narcissism. I'm making this video today. So clearly in my attempt to educate the public, there's also a degree of self-admiration that I'm making a video. If I really didn't have any narcissism, <clears throat> I also wouldn't be able to self-promote. So in the medical world, it's thought that between 0.5% and 5% of people are actually diagnosed with, <clears throat> pardon me, narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. Symptoms that are officially in the diagnosis and statistics of mental disorders, the DSM, include a pervasive pattern of grandiosity, need for admiration, fantasies about power, success, beauty, or an idolized version of love, a sense of entitlement, belief of, about being special, unique, or having a high status, lack of empathy for others, tendency to exploit others, and arrogant behavior. <clears throat> so I'm not qualified to diagnose narcissistic personality disorder, but I certainly can recognize the symptoms. So back to the question of, can you mediate with a narcissist? And the question or the answer is sometimes, but it's an uphill battle. I'm going to give you a few tips on making your mediation more productive, but there are no promises from me. So my first tip is before you sit down at the negotiation table, be prepared that the case isn't going to settle. You may push and push for a resolution, keep offering more. If the other person isn't ready to settle, no matter how generous your offer, it's not going to settle. And now you've set a new standard for mediating against. My second is to focus on the what and not on the why. This is a Bill Eddy suggestion um, that you need to focus on mediating through proposals. You put your proposal, let them put their proposal. The why is irrelevant because they really don't care why you want something. So what is it that you want? What is it they want? The third suggestion is to know your best alternative to a negotiated agreement, your worst alternative to a negotiated agreement. This is your best and worst day in court. That becomes your mediation zone. It gives you parameters to mediate within so that you have those boundaries, even if your adversary doesn't. Ask for frequent breaks. I listened to an expert talk about trauma, and one of the things they said about people with trauma is they need frequent breaks to reset. And if you also are dealing with a narcissist, you're going through some trauma yourself, so take those breaks. Number five is keep an even keel to avoid exploitation. If the other party sees you really want something, it's going to be a dog in the manger situation, and they're going to push for that item that you want. So keep an even keel. Don't show all your cards. Number six is to include attorneys for a reality check. The narcissist may not listen to you and they may feel the judge is going to see them things their way, but if their attorney is in the room, he may or she may negate that presumption. And the seventh is, if nothing else, caucus. Ask the mediator to meet with each party separately. It'll lower the boiling point. See if you can focus on solutions in the caucus and avoid the confrontation of the joint venue. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have a story about mediating with a narcissist, please put that in the comments. It's Anju Jasani for Divorce with Dignity Mediation Services, saving dollars, making sense.